Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I want to do a video today about how you can use two open source softwares in conjunction, one being the Caden Live video editor, the second being Audacity in order to improve the noise in your video. So obviously Caden Live does have a number of built-in audio correction tools, but it's missing some things, uh, very notably the noise reduction tool. But there's a couple more there as well. So if you want to take advantage of uh, using, or you just prefer using an audio editor, then here is a workflow that you can use to use these two tools in conjunction. So let's take the example of noise reduction. I just jumped into Caden Live and I shot this uh, few second clip of my wife picking out a bottle of wine a few days ago. This is what happens when you're married to somebody learning video, uh, you become a constant test subject. So here is the video clip. Now you might be able to see or hear uh, that there is between these kind of bursts of speech okay, here where I'm asking questions and my wife is responding once uh, there is, you know, a lot of chatter in the store and there is, uh, so the store is playing some music as well. So let's say I wanted to improve upon this audio slightly. So what you can do is, um, firstly, I'm going to ungroup. So let's just say we're gonna, uh, we're gonna apply an audio. For the sake of comparison, what I'm going to do is firstly ungroup the video and audio here and I'm going to uh, duplicate the video and not duplicate the audio. So we're going to uh, lay out our timeline like this and see, this is just for the sake of comparison in this video, um, if we can improve on that audio. So the first thing is in the clip bay, if you right click, there is a um, extract audio button and you can extract audio. The default profile here is a 48,000 Hertz WAV file. So I'm gonna click on that and once I do, it's just pulled out the audio. Now the question is, if you wanna open this up in Audacity, where is that located? Well, if you just kind of hover over it, you can see the path. Um, for me, it's in the exact folder where this clip originated. So that's the default behavior in Caden Live. If this uh, clip's in this location, and you can see that it's in basically uh, the exact same folder as an MP4, then it's going to generate that extracted audio file in the same folder. So now you're gonna pop into Audacity and open this clip up. Okay, I've jumped into Audacity here and uh, this is basically the same file that was just pulled out of Caden Live. So what you can do here is just do any edit you want. Now I mentioned that uh, you can, if you want to do editing work in Audacity and not just, uh, not just noise reduction because there's a lot more that you can do with audio in Audacity. You can even do some of the things. I mean, you can apply a fade in and a fade out fades uh, within Caden Live itself, but you might prefer to work in Audacity for whatever reason. Uh, but the most common one, as I mentioned, was noise reduction. So, um, you know, you can do that and reduce the background noise. That's what I'm going to do now and see if that works. If you don't know how to do that, uh, there are separate tutorials, loads of tutorials on YouTube about that. But do anything that you want in uh, Audacity. I'm not actually going to do something now. And then you can just export this back to the clip in. Now, unfortunately, Caden Live lacks the feature whereby uh, the uh, project bin or a folder in the project bin will automatically sync so that when you you know create a new file in that folder, it's automatically in your Caden Live library. So you have to do this manually. You're going to have to export each clip from Audacity after you make your improvements and then import that into Caden Live. So it's a little bit tedious, uh, but that's those, these are the areas where Caden Live is a little bit limited. Uh, so do that firstly and then jump back to your timeline in Caden. Okay, so I'm back in Caden Live now. I've exported this from Audacity. So I'm just going to drag this into uh, Caden Live. And you can see now that I have two audio clips in my project bin. One is Hannah in Drink Store Noise Reduce.wav, and this is uh, Hannah in Drink Store 001. So this is the one I pulled out of the timeline, and this is the um, this is a clip after I've applied the noise reduction in Caden Live. Now you can even see just looking at those audio waveforms if I bring myself back down a little bit here, you can see this is the original audio as we got it with the video clip. This, the bits between the bursts of speech are is the background noise, and this is after Caden Live. You can see we still have those. So I told um, Audacity, I just dragged some, some uh, background noise between the bursts of speech and told it to focus on those and reduce those. So I'm gonna play back the clip now. You can be the judge of how well it works. Here's Hannah buying wine. Tell us a wine story. <laughs> wine story. Oh, I like wine. I don't know what else. What else there is to say? Who's Hannah buying wine? 
Tell us a wine story. Wine story. Thank you guys for watching. There's a lot you can do um, in order to improve your audio if you're using Caden Live and Audacity together.